Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off in our last episode with your nominations being thrown into the roulette wheel and it came out with this team right here. We had two good games yesterday, if you want to check those out and I would definitely recommend checking out yesterday's second game if you haven't seen it. The hype is unbelievable <laughs> that second game i'm not going to spoil it i'll put a card up there for you you can go and check it out and then come into today's episode but to recap the team as always we've got the salazzle we've got kingler shift tree haxorus the restricted combination of dialga and palkia so off the back of yesterday's second episode i'm hoping we can continue this hype train on today with the team haxorus and salazzle put in so much work yesterday it was incredible and I cannot wait to get into today's episode. So without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into it. As always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, guys, please make sure to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more glorious Pokemon content and other content that I'll be doing around that. And um, leave a comment down below because you know, you know how much I love hearing from you all. So... Um, we'll get over to this screen and we've got a first opponent. So... 1486, got some tasty points that we could have, and wow, is that a Zeb Striker? That looks cool, okay, well, let's get into team preview. Okay, so my opponent is running a team of Gengar, Kyogre, Eveltal, Zeb Striker, um, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it pronounced, the Zebra, Electric Zebra with Lightning Rod. Um, then Stack Attacker and Tapu Lele. Uh, the Lightning Rod really helpful for supporting Kyogre and Yveltal. Um, the Lele likely to be Scarfed. You've got a Trick Room mod and potentially a Tailwind mod here for my opponent. Um, if we can deal with the Lele, our Restricted Pairing does pretty well against this team. It's just dealing with the Lele and if it is Scarfed Lele, it is a lot more difficult. We could we could go down the one-hit KO route with Haxorus as a lead. Um, it's not a bad option, to be honest. And uh, Dialga's decent as well. Um, I do want... Do I want to bring Kingler here? Kingler could be good. Kingler could be good. Kingler and, and Palkia. Um, I'm not bringing any fake out. Do I need Shiftry? Um, let's go Kingler, because the rain's going to be there in Palkia. Um, and yeah, we're going to lock in. We're going to get into this first one today. Ah, yes. You need, if you haven't, I'm strongly recommending the, the hype of yesterday's episode. Like I said yesterday in that second game, probably the best moment in all of Roulette. Road to Ranked Roulette history on this channel. I think it was just amazing. That, uh, I, I got a bit of, I got, went way over the top with my reaction, but it was, uh, it was, <laughs> it was all worthwhile. Right, we're going to see the Gengar and Yveltal come out for my opponent. Haxorus is going to hit the field. Um, we could lock ourselves into Stomping Tantrum here um, and potentially get rid of this Gengar, which would be would be a nice thing to be able to do. Um, I'll go for that, and then should we Trick Room? I mean, it's probably the best thing to do. I think, yeah, we'll go for the Trick Room. If you can get it off. If the Gengar survives, it could go for a Taunt. Um, I don't know what the Veltal is going to do. If it's a Soul Fest, maybe, which they normally are in this sort of team. But they can tend to be Z-Move as well. So we can't underestimate that. Gengar going to switch out. What's it going to be? Stacks. Oh, beautiful. We like that. Donk, donk, donk. Can we pick up the Knockout? Not good. Oh, stack attack is just too bulky, isn't it? Ah, oh, there's a Z move. Where's it going? Is it going into Haxorus? Potentially. Um, if it's into Dialga, I think we take this. Um, it should just proc our Wiki Berry. Well, we definitely 100% take it, I think, with Dialga. It's into Haxorus. I don't mind this, to be honest. We're getting our Trick Room up. We'll be able to get. Um, at least a free switch in, because Haxorus and Trick Room is no good, so our opponent's kind of doing us a favour here. Uh, there's a Trick Room set up. Um, should we get Kingler onto the field? Or should we keep Kingler for later and bring Palkia in and we can start doing some... I mean, the thing is with Kingler is that we can wide guard and get around um, the Rock Slide flinch issue. And we can also Crab Hammer. 
Um, the Veltal. We could Crab Hammer the Stack Attack. What we can? What's the best option to do here? Um, we could Guillotine as well. Guillotine Veltal. Um, I'm gonna Guillotine Veltal. I'm gonna just Earth Power. Earth Power stacks. Come on, Kingler. You saw Haxorus do it yesterday. There's the Rock Slide. The Alga avoids. Kingler is pretty defensively bulky, so taking that. Oh, we. Ah, oh, come on, come on, Kingler. Uh, Earth Power. Procna Shucker, but. Um, because of the damage it's already taken. Doing enough. So we get rid of that Pokemon. Dark Pulse, where are you going? Into Dialga, that's fine. Uh, we get another shot at our uh, guillotine. Uh, what's going to come in? I don't think it'd be. Oh, it is a Gengar. Hmm. Let's go for that guillotine again into Eveltal, and we'll just go for another Earth Power into Gengar. If we can get rid of the Eveltal, I think we can win this match. It's all about Kingler and your guillotine abilities. You've got the biggest claws out of any Pokemon in the game. Come on. You can, you can hit the guillotine, just chop into the Eveltal. One hit KO. Protects itself this turn, which makes a lot of sense. We could have went for the double up into the Gengar. There's a guillotine. It's probably going to try and target down the, uh, the one hit KO here. I don't expect this to be able to knock out Gengar. But it does respectable damage. Sludge Bomb. Can Kingler take it? Nah. It's not the strongest, especially defensively. Um, but we'll get Palkia in. And we're in a nice position now. I wonder if the Gengar actually protects now. Um, that would be my bet. That would definitely be my bet, I think. Uh, the question is, have we got enough to take down the Veltal? Hydro Pump. And a flash cannon probably will be enough to to get Evelta. We've got to double into it, I think, now. I think the Gengar probably protects. Uh, no one that can get taken down. No protect from the get. Oh, come on! Oh, I hit Hydro Pump. Oh. I don't think the Spatial Rend would have been enough. We needed the Hydro Pump there. The Snarl, of course. Um, and we're going to take... Wow, this is, this is it now. Because probably double protect. But we've got one player we can do. Uh, Sludge Bomb. As long as we don't get poisoned. Of course. Of course. That's what happens. <sighs> okay, is this the last turn of Trick Room? It is. Let's pull the double Trick Room to set it all back up again. Hopefully my opponent double protects. I think they will. Yeah. Here we go. The poison. This is why I didn't want poison. Because the poison is making it way more difficult for us. Uh, we've seen Dark Pulse, Snarl, I'd say there's Tailwind on the Veltal and Protect, so maybe no Sucker Punch, which does give us um, a bit of a better time. And there's the Trick Room setting back up again. So, I mean, we're giving ourselves as best an opportunity as possible. It's whether or not this Veltal has Sucker Punch, and I'm going to bank on it. I'm not going to bank on anything, because when we bank on stuff, it doesn't happen, does it? Hydro Pump into Eveltal. We've got Earth Power into Gengar. <sighs> and hopefully the Hydro Pump takes down the Eveltal. Does connect. Come on. Still not enough. Man, that is weak. So weak. Uh, we need Palkia for the Kyogre. I don't think we're going to be able to win this one now. That first Hydro Pump. We would have been better. Ah, it's because of... Yeah, okay. Yeah, another poison. Ah, a critical hit on Dialga. Come on. Come on, really? Uh, yeah, we would have been better going for two spatial runs, but then again, <laughs> spatial runs not the most accurate move, is it? Uh, then that's why the poison is the most annoying thing. Um, the snarl support obviously helping. The Veltal out massively here, and in comes Kyogre. And I don't think, yeah, we can't win. We can't beat Kyogre with Dialga. Um, not without Thunder or something. We needed Palkia here to uh, to deal with it. And I mean, even as low health as we were with Palkia, we'd probably get one attack off, maybe. Um, but, never mind. It's looking like it's going to be a short-lived 
match here. We'll go for a flash cannon. If Elto probably protects, I'd imagine we'll probably see a water spout from the Kyogre. It's pr sitting pretty safe here. We do actually manage to get the Evelto, so taking it down to a one and one But we've got no chance to take this Kyogre out. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, there's a water spout. This will do more than enough damage. We had thunder. If we had thunder, it wouldn't really make a difference from this point. But um, go for a good old earth power. See what damage it does. It'll do about three, three hit points of damage. Boosh! There we go. See three, three hit points. A nice beam. Good game to my opponent. I think <sighs> the hydro pump miss did matter because then we could have got rid of the Avelto turn earlier. Um, knowing that it wouldn't have killed, we should have probably put a lot more pressure onto that slot initially than we were doing. Um, going for the double up. Because the Gengar's, the po it got the poison, which didn't help. That's just the thing. Um, but it wasn't really pressuring as much as the Evelto, or disrupting as much as the Evelto. So concentrating down on that slot would have made a lot more sense. And trying to preserve Palkia for a late game versus Kyogre. It's really where our win condition would have come from. A little bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, right. Let's lock in with... Let's go Elite Four as our music. Um, and hopefully we can pick up... So we're, we're one win, two losses at the minute. Let's see if we can tie it up with our next one. It'd be absolutely amazing if we can. And, um, yeah... I'm just getting, um, still getting tweets about the the dead time between when I say I was going to cut and we'll cut to our next opponent and I totally forgot to edit it out on Friday's episode. <laughs> and there's just me suffering badly with hay fever going. <laughs> At least I didn't do too, anything too bad. I do all sorts. I like balance things on my face and, and do all sorts of crazy stuff when I'm waiting for opponents. So it's a good job we cut most of the stuff out. I'm really bad at fidgeting and I can't really sit still. So I'm always picking things up. It's good to have a clear desk space in front of me and then it just makes sure I'm concentrating on, on the task at hand. But saying that, I am going to cut now. We're going to come back when we find our next opponent because it might take a little bit longer than what I'm expecting. And we've got our next opponent, finally, finally. It's been taken, I like three tries here, but we've got our next opponent, so let's hop into Team Pre. Okay, so our next opponent is running a team of Kyogre, Melotic, Lunala, Stack Attacker, Landorus, Theory in Form, and Incineroar. So we've got the restricted combination of Lunala, Kyogre, really strong pairing here. Uh, Lunala can offer Tailwind, Trick Room to support that Kyogre, lots of options there. You've got Trick Room on the Stack Attacker as well. Melotic going to be the thing that puts off those Intimidators with its competitive ability, can also take advantage of the rain, also has Speed Control and Icy Wind. And then you've got two Intimidators sitting on the end there with the Landorus. Asterion offers probably um, an alternative Z crystal there, maybe, or a scarf, uh, a salt vest, even, and the Incineroar. And we know what Incineroar does. I'm just tired of talking about Incineroar, but I feel like Kingler could do some work here, maybe. Um, I've got to be a bit careful around the Lunala. I'm going to bring Shift Tree, though, because the Shift Tree's pretty decent against Kyogre. Um, the the Melotic, it's got Snarl to help against the Lunala, for sure. Um, we definitely want. We want a dragon pair, for sure, and Kingler. I might just do that, you know. And we, mm, nah, I think if we do that, it's kind of alright, because... Yeah, let's go Palkia, Kingler, and Dialga. Let's do it. Let's get into this one. Kingler, Palkia, Dialga, and Shiftry. What a combination of Pokemon excited <laughs> I don't know if we can win we can win we can we can win anything loving the green eyes the emerald eyes um right stack it's stacks and Lunala it's fine I wonder if you can just go snarl snarl and hydro pump the Lunala's got to feel a bit pressured here um 
Snarl, I'm just going to do it, and I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. I'm not really worried about setting the, the Trick Room up yet, because maybe the Stack Attacker decides to go for that itself. Uh, maybe the Stack Attacker just protects. I don't know what Lunala is going to do. It could fire off an attack into Palkia, um, but it's more likely to try and set up, I think, here, rather than fire off a Z-Move. Although, it's not really out of the question. But it's got to feel a little bit threatened by the Shift Tree. Come on, we learned... Sucker Punch, so if you know anything about the tree, then you know it lends the Sucker of the Punch. Stack are actually protecting here. I wonder what we're going to see. What we're going to see? Hydro Pump. Nada. Snarl. We're going to see a Trick Room from Lunala. Oh, well, at least the Snarl helps us out there massively. Uh, chips the Shadow Shield as well, which is nice. There's the Trick Room. I don't mind that. At all, really, because uh, Shiftry should underspeed the Lunala anyway. Um, and we could double into the Stacker for sure with a Leaf Blade, or we could pull a switch into Dialga. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Uh, no, I'm going to keep Shiftry. Oh, do we? Because Shiftry is quite important for us to deal with. Well, it's not that important, actually. We've got Double Dragon. We're fine. Let's just go for the same thing again. The Snarl and the Hydro Pump. We'll probably see a Rock Slide come out. Yeah. Uh, both Pokemon take it pretty comfortably. Get that Snarl off again. Do a bit more damage to this Lunala and really weaken it to the point where it's not going to be able to do very much. Nice crit there on the stacks and... Uh, Come on, Palkia, put those goggles on today. You've got them on! You listened! Good, Palkia. Wow. <laughs> that is a strong Hydro Pump. Bye-bye, Stex. See you later. Moon Blast. Moon Blast! What? Yeah, it's very weak, though. Double Snarl. Shift Read, too strong. Um, What comes into the party now? Incineroar? Oh no, bringing in the Kyogre. Deciding to bring the Ogre to the party. It's never a party without Kyogre, is it? I can't believe it. Moonblast, Moonblast Lunala. Seen it all. Um, Primordial Sea. Uh, we can totally make good work of... Um, uh, are we going to underspeed this Kyogre? Or is it going to be like min speed Kyogre? I would imagine it probably is min speed Kyogre, isn't it? Um, it might be a good thing to bring in Kingler now. And just go for... Um, do we go Hydro Pump into Lunala? I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest. Um, just Spatial Round into the Kyogre. Yeah, let's do that. Get some damage onto that thing. Kingler coming in. I'll be able to take down the Lunala the next turn. Get Kingler in its... In the rain, it's going to love it. Kyogre going to protect. What's Lunala going to do now, then? What are you up to, Lunala? You trick-rooming again? I think you are. Yes. Okay. Well, we can play that game as well, can't we? Because we can trick-room all, all we want. Um, I need to remind myself what speeds that we are with, like, Kingler. Kingler, how are we looking? 101. Um, okay, so we're definitely going to underspeed the Kyogre. Uh, does it have Thunder? Does it? Probably. Um, but we can totally set up a Trick Room. It indicate that my opponent's not got something that they want in Trick Room in the back. Let's just go. Uh, okay, Kyogre going to switcheroo. Melotic going to hit the field. Okay. Well... We should be able to get a Trick Room up now, which is, yeah, pretty good. Lunala going to protect. Dead turn. Free Trick Room. Kingler going to protect as well. I want to go to town on this Melotic this next turn with these Guillotines. Come on, Kingler. We've got to do it. We've got to get the Melotic. Getting the Melotic in this next turn will be the most phenomenal thing ever. We'll go Spatial Rend into the Lunala. That should take it down. Um... Come on, guillotine, please. Okay, Kyogre going to hit the field once again. Please, Kingler, hit the guillotine. Come on. Please, please. <laughs> please. I get way too excited about the potential of a one-hit KO hitting. Ah, oh, come on. Spoiling all the fun here, Milotic. Guillotine. 
Uh, special round. <sighs> Come on. Uh, we'll go for that guillotine again. Um, and I'll go for the spatial rend into the Kyogre. Come on. We'll probably see the Melotic switch out into Lunala, expecting that the, the guillotine to go into that slot. <sighs> but I want to try. I want to try and get this Melotic. Kingler's got his eye. His beady crab eyes on that Melotic. He wants to get the guillotine. Come on. Stay in. Stay in. Don't switch to Lunala. It's a bad idea. Lunala will go down. Well, it won't. Okay. Kyogre going to switch out. We're going to see the Melotic stay on the field, though. So that's amazing. If spatial Rent hits here, then we're fine. Oh, guillotine, come on, please hit. <laughs> we just want one one hit. You've got like that's two we've tried. We've missed. Um okay. Get the Lunala, which is good. And Palka is in a decent position now to take on this this Kyogre. Uh, we still got Dialga in the back as well and the shift tree. Mm, so we're not looking too bad at the moment. Not looking bad at all. Uh, and as long as Kingler can hit one of these one-hit KOs, I think the Melotic probably protects this turn. Um, yeah, we've got two turns of Trick Room. I'm going to guillotine the Kyogre. And I'm going to Spatial Rend the Kyogre as well. Kyogre might protect, but I would say more the Melotic protects than the Kyogre here. That would be my best guess. That would be my best guess. I don't know, though. Let's see. I just want the one-hit KO to hit. Come on. Hype City. Yes! <laughs> yes! Come on, Kingler! You are the king of all crabs in the whole entire Poker Universe. Kingler is the one who hit KO Wonder, joining Haxorus in the ranks, the historic, legendary status that you are gaining now. Palka Frozen? What is this? Okay, I mean, we can't really complain too much, but Kingler, you are the man. You are the man. Come on. <laughs> Let's get one more. Let's get Melotic once again. Um, uh, we'll just try try and Thor out, I guess. We'll Spatial Rend. Hopefully we can Thor out. It's a pity Palka doesn't get Scald. Or oh, does it get Scald? Guillotine. <laughs> oh my god, Kingler. Kingler is the king. King Crab Kingler. Yes, Kingler is just, we just, we don't need attacks. We just need one hit KO moves. That's all we need. <laughs> Kingler was like, we're not losing another game. We're not losing. We're going to tie this up. We're going to end in style. Haxorus did it yesterday. I'm going to do one better than today. I'm going to use both. I'm going to kill Melotic and Kyogre. Got my beady eye on you, Melotic. You dodged it one too many times. What a great way for us to finish again. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, guys. I am really loving this team. I really am. I think we could mix things up a little bit. Uh, do let me know because we can activate some buttons tomorrow. But we're going to call it a day there. We'll be back with another episode tomorrow. So make sure you do tune in for more one hit kill action. I'm hoping we can at least get some one hit kill wins every single day this week. That would be good. We're 2-2 two two at the minute. I'm confident that we can do something this week. It would be a lot of fun if we can, we can finish really positively. Um, we might... Uh, activate a button tomorrow we might not um, but tune in nonetheless and we'll uh, we'll see you for that one there have a great rest of your day take care and I'll see you all for the next episode so until then take care and bye bye